Uh, yeah, these are the uh, yeah, we caution, please, the Sky Princess, um, the Sky Princess depart from uh, 38 berths. We will be backing down and swinging off of Dockhead. Over. That's all the thank you very much. Yes, we'll supply. Uh, on the move from today now. Uh, it's got some temperature, thank you. Good afternoon again, sir. That's the Sky Princess. Uh, let go now from 38 Bang. She'll be backing down and um, swimming off the docket. I don't know, cruise ships departing early. What's going on here? I'm trying to broadcast some ships TV. I don't know. Oh! Here's beyond. Oh, hey, shipmates! A bit of microphone problem there. Now it's working. Have the Sky Princess on the screen, and she's departed slightly early. Caught me on the hop, quite frankly. Uh, 
and I don't know if you heard VTS radio. I've had a little problem, a few little gremlins just now. So you may have heard VTS radio. They were saying that she would be reversing past Dockhead and going around the corner, and that is indeed what's happening. It is a simply gorgeous day here in the Port of Southampton. We've got blue skies, blue water, somewhere in the region of the mid 20s. I'm guessing that's probably, I don't know, high 70s for all you uh, Fahrenheit lovers out there. We have the Sky Princess departing from port at the moment. She's right in front of you. She did play a horn, so I don't think the microphone was working because you didn't hear it, but you did hear the love melody from the horns of the Sky Princess earlier. I wouldn't say it was the most tuneful melodies, but uh, nonetheless, you can hear what's going on. So, uh, go around the move a little bit. There we go. So yes, we have five cruise ships departing today. Of course, while you're all here, let's just have a quick while she's slowly going around. You can see the harbour master is the vessel with the blue hull that's heading to the right hand side of the screen. I can see a red funnel there as well. Uh, today we have on ship TV we have the Sky Princess departing at four, Ventura at five, Celebrity Silhouettes six, the ship beginning with the letter B at six, and then Iona also at six. So everyone's leaving at six, and just like buses, nothing, 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 and then three of them all at once. If they're all on time, we don't know. They could be early. It seems to be the going trend these days. Or they could be late. I'll find out. Let's go back and see where this cruise ship's got to, shall we? I think actually I was trying to find out what uh, I didn't hear any crew numbers yet, so I did have the radio on. So if we hear anything, we'll certainly find out. She, uh, Sky Princess, is off on a 14 night cruise to uh, Norway, Denmark, and Sweden. I know we're on one of those popular field cruises. There seems to be all the rage at the moment, the field cruises. Like I said, I can imagine, I can't imagine a better way to see the fjords. And uh, there seems to be a lot of positive comments from everyone that's come back from a field cruise. They, they like the views. I'm guessing that's probably. A cruise that would warrant a cabin on the outside, isn't it? So you've got a balcony and a view. Not a red funnel ferry sneaking past. I think the Sky Princess will probably wait for her to go past. Oh, yeah, it looks like she started turning. She'll swing round here. This is the lower swing ground at the dock head. And then head out and down Southampton Water. We'll probably follow her for quite a while. And then at five o'clock, we've got Ventura. Ventura is the under port. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's see whereabouts is Ventura. Uh, Ventura is at the further end of ports, right up near the container port, but she is. Yeah, she's at the other end of ports, but she's also facing the right way. So as long as she leaves at five o'clock, we'll probably see her somewhere in the region of quarter past, twenty past five, I'd imagine. And it's the full spin going on with Sky Princess. I might just turn the radio off for a moment so that we can concentrate. Turn it back on in a bit. Harbour Master making sure 
Uh, these pesky pleasure craft get in the way, I would imagine. Let's have a quick look, see who's here in the chat. Have a good complement of spellers today. Oh, I could have, wouldn't be anywhere without uh, it's my selection of spellers. Let maintain the live streams beautifully and answer all your questions when I'm not on deck. So we've got Carmen, Jimenez, Matt King, and of course Kevin too. And I think that's the currently all our spenders then if you ask a question in the chat they'll often answer it if i've missed it good point of contact for you oh there john whittaker and oh there mark green and oh there tizzy c i'm crossing a tizzy c well, i'm just crossing messages with someone about uh, you know what, so <laughs> making slow progress there. Not much in the way of a breeze out there, so probably a really wonderful day to be out on your yacht. I've noticed that on Cow's Cam today, there's been a lot of yachts out there. This would be the ideal day. It's just a gentle breeze to push you along, but it's not so much to upset the balance of your ship and spill your gin and tonic. Oh there, Elizabeth G. And oh there, News Girl 100. I was making uh, News Girl 100 asking what the traffic was like in port. Uh, I think it was a couple of weekends ago. The traffic was horrendous in port. Uh, because there were so many cruise ships leaving, it was just snarled all, all over the place. I don't know today. I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't arrive in the afternoon. I arrived early in the morning, so I didn't see any bad traffic problems. I've been concentrating on a few other things, so hopefully the traffic wasn't too bad. Oh, boy, there, Pete Marsh from Wollstone. It will be very close to where Sky Princess is now. In fact, depending on where he is, he might have a view. Oh, and ahoy there, Emma Harrison. And ahoy there, Kathy Pace. I think that Sky Princess has almost completed her turn here. I'm not seeing many people upon the decks. Or is that just a lot of people and it's a big crowd? Oh, hmm, tricky that. Unfortunately, um, we've, only, we've only got this view at the moment because if we go over to cruise cam uh, and then our view is fully blocked by Iona here, the Sky Princess will be behind Iona somewhere in the middle. And we'll, we'll get to see her when she comes to the gap in between in a while. Had some wonderful sunrises on Cow's Cam lately. It's been, certainly been producing some good, so I'm not quite sure why it's, was, why it's gone so good. Um, maybe it's to do with where the sun's rising as it's the time of year, it's further round. I'm sure there's a good explanation for it. in cows oh, still a few yachts out there not as many as we were this morning it's very hazy sky there looks like they've got the big screen up at the top showing something I have no idea what they're showing it's not I tell you what it's not showing it's not showing ships TV that's for sure let's see if we can see anyone not sure if there's people up on deck or not. Oh, not many, is there? A few people up there. Mm. 
So if you're wondering where the sky bridge says, she's just off the dock head. She's just here, this this one here, for some reason. Not coming up with a full length, but that's the Sky Princess. She's here, just a dock head, almost completed her swing, I would say. Seen a great deal of Sky Princess imports uh, with passengers on. She was launched in February of 2019, and of course, we had that annoying pandemic for the last couple of years, so that's meant we haven't seen a great deal of her with passengers on. But she's got passengers on today. Often we hear passenger numbers over the radio, but for some reason, I didn't hear them or they haven't said them. I think. If you were off to Norway this week, you think you're possibly in the Caribbean. For weather forecast for the coming week is temperatures around the mid 20s all week. So I'm not sure what the weather is like in Norway and Scandinavia, but certainly in port it's going to be exceptionally warm. With Elizabeth G says that uh, passengers are probably like me keeping in the shade. Well, actually, you know what? That's probably a really good point. It is surprisingly warm out there, and that is a strong sun. High exposure to UV. Don't want to start your cruise with sunburn, do you? There's a little sailing yacht down there. So, I mean, there's not a lot of breeze out there, certainly not enough to get the old spinnakers up. Capacity on Sky Princess is 3,660 passengers and 1,346 crew. Haven't had any numbers today. It seemed to be running at about two thirds capacity for most of the ships. I'm not sure if that's an operational advantage or if that's just people aren't booking the cruises the top speed of uh, 23 knots certainly won't be doing that at the moment she'll be down south of the water about 16 knots and off round cows around the bramble bank certainly a, a longish cruise ship 330 meters long And a beam of 38 metres. She is 145,000 gross tonnes. There's a Royal Class cruise ship. And as of course with lots of these carnival cruise ships. She's registered in the port of Hamilton in Bermuda. I haven't looked actually, but I wonder if there's anyone down the beach having a little paddle down there. We'll have a, we'll have a look in a bit. You know what's going on down there. Ahoy there, Carol Finnis. And ahoy there, Christine Nichols says. Is she leaving early tonight? Thought we'll leave about five, six. Well, she was due to leave at four, but she actually left. She started moving even before four, so very prompt. And then we have uh, the Ventura at five. She's the owner of port. And then at six, everyone's leaving all at the same time. The celebrity silhouette, the ship beginning with letter B, and the Iona. Now, Iona has lately started leaving on time. In fact, she started leaving early as well. She had a whole spell of leaving really late. 
In fact, super late on some days. But, uh, this evening, I'm not sure who's going to leave. So um, if Iona leaves at six, she'll the first one. Yeah, it probably will be Iona first. So yeah, I can I can see that working. Oh, hey there, Daniel Sand. Oh, he's got some weather update for weather in Norway. 22C. Oh, well, it's going to be a lovely Norway as well. What a week, eh? What a week. There's all the red jets shooting past there on its way to the Isle of Wight. Absolutely marvellous. Oh, there, Bertie Doe. Ah, oh, good information for Bertie Doe. He says a lot of cabins are reserved for quarantine. Ah, oh, I hadn't thought of that. Thank you for that, shipmate. That's excellent information. Well, there, Christine Nicholson says she can't wait for September. Where Christine is off to. Well, there, Terry Leggett. Do they still have a banned shore site like in the old days? I'm not sure, but I haven't heard it. In times of past, I've actually heard the bands. Uh, the sound tends to waft around town. They used to do it more for Queen Mary 2, if I remember correctly. Uh, so, no, not, not at the moment. Well, George Emmett says that Sky Princess is similar to Britannia. Oh, well, you could well be right. I think there was a certain crossover solo ships. I'm not sure which ones. Oh, there, JJ and Kaz says it's a bit late. Filling in and finding. Filling in forms for our cruise in two weeks. Oh, yes, tell me about it. I bet there's a whole lot of form filling to be done. All worth the effort, though. Oh, New School 100 has some more top information. Says that's the P&O. Used to have bands on departure, but haven't had one for some years. That's what I thought. I seem to remember when the ships are new. Sometimes they have a band, but... It doesn't seem... Uh, I haven't heard that for a while. Probably a Covid then stopped lots of things. Hmm. Oh, hi there. Daniel Sand. Daniel Sand says that uh, Matt, who is the Commodore of the Netley's Cliff Sailing Club, where this camera is located, very helpful. We are very appreciative of everything Netley Cliff Sailing Club do. He said that the uh, Commodore Matt was on the radio silence as, as Clue Keeper. Oh, I'm not sure what Clue Keeper is. Well, I'll have a listen to that. He's very good at providing support service when the camera needs to be turned on and off remotely, so I can't thank the Sailing Cliff, but the Sailing Club enough for that. And if you're interested in going on the water, I'd recommend going down there. They'll certainly be able to help you out. Oh, the fact there looks like somebody from the club, perhaps. Oh, yeah, there we go. A little dinghy, a little laser. Ideal learning boats, that is. If you fancy learning to sail, that's probably what you're starting. Uh, we will, of course, endeavour to straighten the camera as well. At some point, I do know it's wonky, but the bracket is on. This was a little rusty, and this was the best we could do at the time. Um, actually going to get some sort of cherry picker in to help with all that which will make life much easier when you're up a ladder it's all rather challenging but yeah I think they would be having a jolly a fine day it's quite a, there is a bit of a breeze there so yeah any little sailor will be hustling along in this breeze someone there shooting along it's going to be another wonderful day in the port tomorrow as well. So I intend myself to get out on the water again. Uh, Christine Nicholson, she says that she's Yes, indeed, she's off to Norway as well. Like I said, that seems to be the very popular cruiser choice. I haven't seen where all the ships are going as well. Well, Emma Harrison says that she is back in Southampton in October, just for a little holiday. 
Good time of year to come to port in October. Oh, hoi there, Elizabeth Lieborn says that they had a band when we left two ports in Norway three years ago. That's good to know. Oh, maybe they'll reintroduce it. Could well, I could say it could well be a COVID thing. COVID seems to have changed lots of things. Takes a while to get them back. I'm just catching up the chats here. Well, there, Lord Jones says the uh, the water is light and sparkling. It certainly is light and very sparkly today. I don't think we're going to get much in the way of a pretty sunsets because the last ship to leave is going to be fairly early. We need to be broadcasting much later. <laughs> Never mind, you'll get to see the ships. Uh, there's more people down here on the beach in Netley. Looks like they've got a little, some sort of kayak or canoe there. That'll be me. Investing my hard-earned in getting on the water. You can get on the water relatively cheap with kayaks and paddle boards and such like. Maybe I should do an introductory video to getting on the water. With their Lewis Fox, he says. Hello, Captain. Well, thank you. Thank you, shipmates. Check the other camera. I think probably. Yes, I've missed it. I've been rattling on to myself and. Missed Sky Princess on cruise cam. Even though it's slightly hazy looking sky over on Cow's Camp, there is actually a really good visib visibility to the Isle of Wight. Those green hills that you can see in the background, that is the Isle of Wight. Sometimes with the clear days, it can be quite hazy. I have found it interesting when I've been out of the water, you would think that a ship the size of Sky Princess, for example, you would think they would cause a massive wake and upset all the other ships, but surprisingly, they don't seem to. They seem to slip through the water quite well. What does seem to create a large wake is uh, small pleasure craft. They often make quite a wake or very small commercial vessels. Ferry, for instance, the Red Funnel Ferry creates a fair bit of wake and Red Jet creates a big wake as well. But if you look here, the Sky Princess is hardly creating a ripple on the water. So this sailboat is preparing they're going to go 90 degrees towards the wake to give themselves a smooth ride. Otherwise, if you meet it side on, it'll get you wibbly wobbly all over the place. And we don't like wibbly wobbly. Looks like he's preparing to cross the wake any moment.
I've lost the chat. No, back here. There we go. Hoy there, Electric Cloud. And hoy there, Aaron Hall. And hoy there, Stephen Saunders says he was in Bristol earlier and went on the steamer Mayflower. Oh, not familiar with that one, shipmate. I'll have to have to have a look. You can see the visibility is excellent. You can just about make out the ferry to Portsmouth to Fishbourne, just at the bow of the Sky Princess. This time of year as well, you tend to get the obligatory jet skiers, or some of my shipmates call them, the uh, water rats. They do buzz around quite a lot on the water which is, can be a little disturbing when you try and have a, a lovely gentle barbecue somewhere at anchor and all you've got is the jet skiers bouncing around so he's doing some a little bit of wake from something there you see i've just noticed on netly cam actually there's a fair bit of uh, pollution -y stuff coming out of the top funnel now it's as far as i know it's not pollution it is a consequence of the scrubbers which are some sort of machinery that's in the funnel of modern ships uh, to reduce pollution i think it's the nitrous I think I'm not sure. I can't remember what they're trying to get rid of, but they are trying to get rid of some of the fumes and noxious gases and all those sorts of things. And as a consequence, instead of being black or sooty, like actually you can see one there that just at the front, the one of the oil tankers typically have a grey, blackish exhaust. But when they have these scrubbers on, uh, for some reason it ends up with a sort of yellowy exhaust. It's like my barbecue when I can't get to light properly. Oh, wait, there's Sue G says it's uh, very warm in Croydon. I can certainly concur. It's very warm here in my cabin. Unfortunately, my cabin doesn't have air conditioning, so I have to just swallow lots of cooling water with ice cubes in i'll shall leave the rum to a later time Just to remind you what is coming up. We're just watching the Sky Princess. Uh, the Ventura will be trying to get five from the other end of port. And then we have three all at the same time. Celebrity Silhouettes, the B ship, and Iona. Iona will, if she's on time, will depart first. And then we will have... And the other two, I'm not sure which order we go. Ahoy, shipmate, Plane Watch, who has just I've just subscribed. May thanks subscribing, shipmates. If you haven't subscribed, do, do think about subscribing. It does help out the channel a lot. Uh, enables some sort of AI robot at Google, YouTube to recommend us to... Ooh, looks like someone's about to capsize. Oh, no, well done, caught it. Good shit, mate. There, uh, yes, recommends us to other people, so it doesn't cost a penny. Just click on that button, and oh, thank you kindly. Uh, someone, someone mentioned earlier as well about hitting that like button, I wasn't sure it was, but absolutely, that was Emma Harrison, yeah, one of our regular members. So, 
Don't forget to hit the like button equally. That does something as well. I can really see that scrubbed exhaust gas here, can't you? It does look like something's on fire or a badly lit barbecue. There is a small ship right at the end. What's right at the end? That could be one of the Princess Caroline or something. Uh, it's always Alley Cat. I think it might be Alley Cat of Cows. Yes. Alley Cat of Cows is a, a pleasure. Pleasure vessel. And she'll operate cruises around the Solent's on that lovely day he's, oh, he's certainly getting that little sailboat on the limit all the time isn't he good job there should be yes so they operate little cruises cruises for private parties or just up and down the Solent. now i see someone else as well oh, elizabeth little enough shipmate is also filling in forms and paperwork for a cruise two weeks time on iona I'm not sure what the requirements are now for sailing on cruise ships. Um, I know that Iona's dropped, I think she dropped COVID testing a few weeks ago. That's no longer a requirement. I'm sure you have your excellent shipmates or better informed than I am and tell me what the current state of form filling madness is. I don't know how, how you get on with the other countries. I've got a shipmate that's travelling to Turkey and apparently they don't need much in the way of anything these days so perhaps the cruise ship don't either must be a little sailing school going on here could be from netley cliff sailing club so they've got a launch probably shouting instructions to the sailors on their little yachts there Oh, and ahoy there. And Cello, who has just subscribed. Welcome aboard, shipmates. Glad to have you on board. Join the welcome and join the crew. I think I just saw a bad joke from somewhere. From someone. Yes, Daniel San suggests that there's lots of boy racers out there today. I'm not sure I should have repeated that, really. That's uh, very groan worthy. Of course, he means boy, as in navigational boy. Hoi there, Charlotte's parrot. And hoi there, Diane Berthlot, who says, hoping to see Silhouette depart. Her daughter is on board. Well, that shouldn't be a problem, shipmate. She is due to depart at six o'clock along with the B ship and Iona. We'll have a look at that. I'll get a very good view here of Sky Princess. She's hiding behind the crane. I'll go to the old the Walt Nestle cam. You can see that the other two ships, Service Silhouette is at the end of Mayflower Park and Bode is facing the other way, so she will be much later because she'll have to head up that way and turn around at the upper swing ground. Heading down towards Southampton, sorry, heading down towards Cashel Spit. You can see the red funnel ferry is just turning around. And you get an idea how busy Southampton water is here. So you've got the pleasure craft. Actually, on a little cruise, you've got yachts learning how to sail, and as he goes, he, oh, he's leaning, he's leaning. Good effort, uh, that man. He certainly knows how to handle that little one, doesn't he? And you've got jet skis whizzing around, berries, and cruise ships. Oh, that Trevor Hillary says, ah, oh, he said that uh, Iona dropped tests for a five-week trial. I knew they stopped testing. I thought so. I didn't realise it was just a trial. I guess we'll see how they go. 
Matt King's already spotted the Princess Caroline out there. She'll be out on a Solent cruise. Sky Princess just passing the SO refinery. I think that is, you can see that on your right your screen, just appearing off, that is the Alley Cat of Cows. And Princess Caroline is also probably being hidden by either Sky Princess or the Red Funnel. Quite busy out there. In fact, that could be that could be Princess Caroline on the left of our screen there. She may have misjudged her location. It's quite tricky sometimes to get things all lined up. Oh, well, there's shipmate Russell Tibbets. Many thanks for subscribing, shipmate, and joining the crew. Great to have you on board. You can see that uh, Sky Princess is just, just here. Passing the SO refinery here, we've got uh, a number of tankers in. Always busy down there, sir. Never a dull moment. Well, the Aaron Hall says, when will the next Royal Caribbean ship be coming into port? That's a good question. I don't know off the top of my head. Let's see if I can find out. Oh, I have discovered that my computer keyboard is not working very well at the moment. Have a look when that would be the next Royal Caribbean. I think it's going to be the Anthem of the Seas on the 15th. That's going to be a next Royal Caribbean ship, I think, unless I've missed one. Oh, looks like we have a capsize. That's how you learn. Oh, of course, one of my excellent spanners, Matt King, has already beaten me to it. He's already said the Anthem of the Seas while I was busy browsing away. When you are taught to sail, there's often a support boat nearby. That's that orange rib there. And they'll be shouting instructions at you what to do. Obviously, because they can't be on the little sailing boat at the same time. See the old jet skis buzzing around down there still. Or the boy racers. I'm not sure I can... I'm not sure the captain can have such bad jokes. But anyway, <laughs> wouldn't be the first time, I guess. Currently at four 
40, the next ship due to depart is going to be Ventura at five, and then we've got three at six o'clock. about from Jason the shipmate Jason Owen ahoy the shipmate asking about Iona Iona departs at six o'clock along with Bolet and Celebrity Silhouette or Bole or Boletta still under discussion for the name of that one and I might put the radio back on so we can hear in for Ventura because she's the next one to depart Let me just pop, pop the radio back on have that on the background again just in case Something goes on, we'd like to be informed. George Emmett's making the point that celebrity cruises are owned by Royal Caribbean, so the next one is Celebrity Silhouette. Hmm, okay. <laughs> I guess that's, I guess that's, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. It looks like we've got somebody out there on a paddle board and another one of those kite he's got a kite as well, um, or a wing oh, and he's just popped off I'm not sure there's enough breeze for that today although well, I could be wrong oh there's shipmate Paul Sharman work aboard shipmate glad you could join the crew P and O Iona is currently in port, just blocking the view. But it's certainly looking like a bright and sunny day, isn't it? I noticed from the flag up there, the wind direction is an unusual wind direction. It looks like it's coming from, it's coming from the north. Let me just check on that, that's curious. Indeed, the wind is coming from the north. So these are unusual weather conditions. That's probably why Southampton water is so calm. Normally the water comes from the southwest, which effectively blows straight up the water here and be blowing straight at the cruise ship. And that can make some of the water quite choppy, but when the water when the wind comes from the north, it's uh, more sheltered for the water. Makes getting to the pub much easier when the water is smooth. Process just reaching to the end of Southampton Water here. You see a start to turn. We can see that on cruise cam. And look at the heat haze over that car park. Matt King said that Ventura pilot has confirmed a five o'clock departure. Oh, why didn't I hear that then? We're having some sort of technical difficulties again. I often seem to. Well, that's good to know. So we'll have Ventura departing at five o'clock, allegedly. And that should enable us to see her, I would think, round about quarter past five. 
maybe 20 past five that sort of time fortunately she's at the other end of the port Emma Harrison says it would be nice to see other Royal Caribbean ships in port, not just Anthem of the Seas. It's true, we're in a bit of a a bit of a pattern at the moment, aren't we? I was looking f earlier when someone was asking about that, and then there is a, a new ship coming on the twelfth, which I'm pretty sure I've not droned or even been on the channel before, and that's the Azamara Quest. something different and then we've got seven seas voyager later on the 15th pretty sure we've seen her before and then just scanning through the list it's a lot of the old favorite names nothing particularly new that i can see azamra pursuit azamra pursuit and azamra quest okay they're both new for the channel I don't think I've droned them either. A quick look through. I'll scroll down the list. Through down to August now. And nothing. I don't see anything particularly new coming up. Uh, Norwegian Dawn. I'll keep an eye out because sometimes it changes the list. BGS, Jet 7, Battley, tanky. Oh, hi there, shipmates. Graham and Joan Shuck. Welcome aboard, shipmates. Glad you could join the crew. With a Keith Cooper says he likes ships. That's good to know, shipmates. And shipmate Steve C says it's good to watch the ships from a gorgeous spacing stoke. I think genuinely it's been a wonderful weather all over the UK. And uh, Oh, there, shipmate Michelle DF says it looks beautiful and a lovely clear view. It is indeed a lovely clear view today. That's uh, say often it can be quite hazy when it's warm, but certainly today I would put that as being quite clear. Quite like this view is. Uh, it is rather annoying that Iona does hog. The scene rather which is quite pleasing to see other ships sailing the distance you can see that heat haze because cruise cams quite a bit further away netly cam and there's a quite a bit of heat haze going on it's the bow of iona there with some looks like some shipmates wandering around stretching their legs probably getting ready enjoying the sun before they head down to that buffet We should be able to pick up uh, Sky Princess on Cow's Cam as well later. I'll probably get her again on Netley Cam as she comes past uh, while we wait for Ventura, which apparently the pilot says she's going to leave on time. So it's going to be a fairly decent evening, isn't it? We're getting one ship leaving slightly early. One ship can be leaving on time. I just have three more at six to see how reliable they'll be. Oi there, shipmate McDadsky. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Glad to have you as part of the crew. Uh, the Sky Princess is almost completely hidden now by the rather massive structure that is Iona. 
not sure she's the biggest. Well, I don't think you find biggest, I suppose, because I'm not sure she's the biggest ship we've had in port. But I guess that depends. It depends how you define biggest, doesn't it? Whether we're talking about weight or number of passengers or length or something. But she's certainly one of the biggest, if not the biggest. I think one of the other something like Anthem of the Seas or something was was is bigger. But I think more passengers, but not necessarily long. Oh, anyway. Big, I think we'll just stick with big. Just see the other side of Cowshot Spit here where the Sky Princess is going, and that's the, the tankers there at the Esso refinery. Let's see here for a little longer. And pretty much where that square blocky building is on the right is cows. You can almost see into cows, but not quite. Daniel Sands suggests that the Royal Caribbean is having a, a new ship based in Southampton. Oh, that'll be interesting. I'll try look for something to look forward to. Cats, she's just passing dock head just about here. Oh, they're big. Will I was asking about box cam? That's box cam. This will be these cameras will be returning. I'm just having to renegotiate some new locations, so it's just taking a bit of time. Emma Harrison says that the biggest class of cruise ship is the Quantum Ultra class. Quantum Ultra class. That sounds very impressive, doesn't it? Oh, the version does is what is the bell sound we hear at intervals? Uh, bell sound is when the it pops up with a new subscriber. If you subscribe and it, it doesn't pop up for everybody who subscribes. I, I don't quite know how it works. I think it's to do with if you're public, if you have publicly on your profile that you allow people to see what you're subscribed to if you do then it pops up on my on the screen a uh, with accompanying ship smell noise and that's that's what that is there is also other noise as well if you donate money Includes that, doesn't it? So last we asked week we had a so Red Falcon BTS that's all copied to thank you. Um the uh, Sky Princess um, correction and 
the uh, Princess Caroline there just puffed in there. So inward bound. Next one away is the Aventura. She's uh, away from 106, um, approximately 1700. Yeah, so last week we were having a discussion about the Bole or Bolet. Bolet. So it's actually Boletta. Someone, someone mentioned that it was named after. Well, I think it was the company director's niece or something. So someone did mention that. I can't remember it was whoever did. Uh, it sounds like they were correct because everyone seems to be calling it Boletta. I've noticed VTS then was very clear on the radio, wasn't it? What's happened there? Well, that's the which we're wishing. So it sounds like Ventura is about to push off. So we'll see you in about 15 minutes. So if you need a quick trip to the headship, mate, so I would suggest now would be a good time. You just need to refill your cocktail of choice. Equally, now would probably be a good time. Now at six o'clock, Celebrity Silhouette, Boletta, and Iona. Iona will be departing first because she's here, uh, closest to the exit, followed by. Followed by Celebrity Silhouette because she is facing Celebrity Silhouette is facing Mayflower Park. And then Boletta is facing the wrong way. So she could go backwards and spin here in the middle swing ground, or she might go up to the upper swing ground. I suppose it depends what the pilot fancies. Well, I'm certainly going to top up my icy water. I shall be back in a jiffy, you should mate. Southampton BTS, Red Osprey, shortly departing, Royal Pierce for East Coast. Marina VTS, good afternoon. Marina VTS, that's all copy, many thanks for that. Yes, good afternoon, Nick. Uh, yeah, affirmative.
we have all, all the guests on board now. Uh, Billet, uh, VTS, um, what sort of time are you looking at then, Galova? Yes, around uh, 1730, or just before that, we'll be, we'll be happy to. Uh, Billet, VTS, um, unfortunately, sir, negative due to other traffic. Um, your pilot is booked for 1800. Uh, we'll be on board approximately 20 minutes before that, over. Uh, Roger that, uh, thank you, sir. Well, that's a that's a shame. Oh, I can see a helicopter on on cow's cam. You see that? This is why I try and zoom in. Let's see if we can zoom in on the helicopter. So that was a technical challenge. There it is. Not sure what sort of helicopter that is. Don't know if that's a emergency services or if it is just a leisure helicopter. Looks a bit like the Coast Guard, doesn't it? I get to see all sorts on, and also we could get to see. The Sky Princess almost missed her chasing helicopters. Oi there, shipmate Tracy Duby. Welcome aboard. You can see here that Sky Princess has picked up some speed. She is travelling at approximately 15, 16 knots. So she's making some decent speed now. Probably making a slightly bigger wake. A rather pity that Balletta couldn't leave early. That would have been helpful. We could have uh, spread out the ship movements a bit more, rather than all leaving at six. But he said there was something else, so there must be something coming in. Then, if Balletta couldn't leave at couldn't leave at five thirty, wonder what's coming in. Then let's have a look. I think there's anything to be due to be coming in. Maybe something. Maybe something else leaving. Potentially something from Foley or something else smaller leaving from Port. Oh, well, well, if you happen to live in cows, this will be the sort of scenery you get going past your front window. Look at that. Fantastic, isn't it? Small pleasure craft there, trying to keep up with two of them, two ribs, trying to keep up. Well, looks like they're slowly out accelerating. Yep. I did chase a ship down Southampton Water the other day on a small tender. It was made for a very a bumpy ride. I did make a small live stream. That's the sort of thing I do in property, so that's one of the advantages of subscribing and hitting that notification bell. So every time. I do something very short notice, you'll be notified, which can can happen. So we can see Sky Princess just rounding the Isle of Wight. People often ask about why the ships make a funny pattern when they leave. I'll see if I can... I was going to show you, but I've just I'm having problems with my computer keyboard. It's doing some strange things. There we go. The ships are arounding the Bramble Bank is here approximately in the middle. It's very shallow. Sometimes of the year it even dries out. So people can play cricket. So that's why the ships, instead of going straight out, they go for a wiggle around here. And then the other question people ask is, why do they always go this way and not this way? My understanding is that they can go to the west. Uh, 
So that's the reason why Valletta couldn't leave earlier. There's a fair bit of traffic between the cruise ships. And I shall have to wait. Oh, excellent. Tim Ellis has got a link to the Brambles cricket match. make a film about the cricket match some years ago i keep meaning to update it but i lost i lost alas uh, it hasn't been happening the last couple of years but we'll look forward to it happening this year perhaps princess off on her way to the Norwegian Danish Swedish area of the world and we were just watching the sky princess depart now she's going around the Isle of Wight then Ventura as far as I think if I heard that correctly Ventura is moving as well so we'll see here in about 15 minutes I guess maybe 20 I don't think she's quite moving yet no doesn't appear to be Auto Prestige is a uh, small Roro vehicle. I think they tend to bounce between here and France and the Channel Islands, uh, delivering cars and vehicles. Let's just check where she's off to. Auto Prestige. Emma Haven in Germany, probably to pick up some BMWs or drop off some minis, either way. Appreciate 
quel bambi che Hello, there, shipmate Chris Hopkins. Work aboard, shipmates. It's a pleasure to have you as part of the crew. Just came to catch our last sights of Sky Princess departing. is the Ride Parish Church, you, that big sticky up thing in the background, that's what you can see. Auto Prestige I think is just nipping out before Ventura. And it's the last we'll see. So Auto Prestige is here. That's the ship that was the little Roro ship. Uh, she was just negotiating to get out before Ventura. Then I think later we have uh, Ark Independence is also going to depart, which I think is why Balletta couldn't leave early as well. Well, maybe she might be able to know, though, if um, oh, uh, Auto Prestige is on her way. So we've had Sky Princess, the Ventura is about to depart uh, once Auto Prestige spins out of the way. So that's probably what we do. It should appear on our screens, probably about 5.30ish, I would imagine. And then we have a celebrity silhouette, Valletta and Iona. So there's Auto Prestige here, and we've got Ventura who will depart next. Then you've got Balletta, Celebrity Silhouette, and then down here at the Ocean Tunnel, Iona. Hey, Caroline, no BTS, that's all. Copy, thank you. The Sky Princess just at Mother Bank out, we're bound. Um, Auto Prestige just getting underway now from 105 out, we're bound. She will also be North Channel, followed by the Ventura out, we're bound. Currently on the gauge, Calshot is 2.86 over. Yes, yeah, so Iona's here, so that's why I think Iona will leave first, because she'll just reverse out, spin around, and disappear off. And then I would imagine Celebrity Silhouette will follow her, and then Balletta is either going to go up to the upper swing ground, around here, or she'll reverse and spin in the middle swing ground and then be on her way. So like I say, probably give it about sort of half an hour or so, I would think, maybe 20 minutes. Probably see Ventura. Or we will see Auto Prestige first. So we have a penchant for the Roro vessels at the port. Stay tuned.
Elizabeth BTS Classic. Elizabeth BTS, that's all copied. I uh, believe your pilot boarding is 1845. 1845 at the North Thurbridge Pilot Boarding Station. If you can maintain a good listening watch, please channel 12 BTS traffic. 209 for the pilot. The pilot launch will call you on 09. Over. Uh, so I was asking a question I saw just a minute ago. Uh, oh, Lewis Fox, shipmate. Lewis Fox was saying, how can you listen to me speaking? This is... The voices you're hearing are that of VTS, which are vessel traffic services, kind of like the air traffic controllers of the waterways, and they control the movements of larger vessels. As they are slightly restricted in what could go on in port, depending on where you are and how big you are. So they control the movements, and it's a publicly broadcast, and I did contact them and asked them if it was okay for me to rebroadcast, and they said, yes, no problem at all. But like they have offered to show me around actually um but then a lockdown came and i didn't get around to, well actually we're still in lockdown were we so once lockdown has finished they will willingly show me around apparently we have also imports i don't know if you can see there that there is two vessels there the one is the wilt uh, wit challenge which Challenger, that's the one on the right. She is a bunkering vessel, so she's like a mobile petrol station. And then the one that's pointed towards us is the James Cook. And she is an expedition vessel, so she tends to go on scientific research to the North Pole. And the other day we had the RRS Discovery in port as well. And so not very often we see the two research ships in port, but we certainly did the other day. In fact, is the RRS Discovery. She's she was in here in Empress Docks, but now you can just see her behind the car park. You can see the dome, the comms dome, just pop, popping up above the structure of the car park there. Lots of people on that their balconies on Iona. Can't say I'm surprised. It's almost like a tropical cruising experience at the moment in the Caribbean. The blue waters of Southampton, the blue sky, the heat and the sun. You could be forgiven for thinking you're in the Caribbean or perhaps the Mediterranean. Still another thing for Auto Prestige, yet she hasn't moved, and neither has Ventura, so they're becoming slightly tardy. At this rate, we'll be banging into each other when... That is the Ark Independence there, the white and... I'm going to go for blue. White and blue vessel. That is the Ark Independence. A 
I won't be being dressed up. Still received, sir. Thank you. With a Terry Leggett says is VTS available on Discord. Yes, it is, should mate. It is available on Discord. If you become a member of the channel, like you clearly are, you, know, you have certain benefits and where access to the Discord group and you'll be here. VTS is one of those benefits. We also get early access to videos, which I know I haven't made a lot of lately. I've had a few things going on, and I hope to resume the scheduled droning very shortly. Oh, Alan Hussey says, what is the map that I'm used to show the ships and stuff? And that's a website called Marine Traffic. There are a number, no, I should, be honest, I should use Vessel Finder really, because I'm actually contributing AIS data to Vessel Finder. AIS data is what the, the information that the ships broadcast. And I contribute to it. So I actually update it live. So why don't I use the, why don't I use the websites that I actually, uh, uh, contribute towards so yeah all ships transmit their GPS location Prestige just passing Mayflower Park, which they've started setting up for the boat show. Uh, Ventura is next, and also Ark Independence down here. In fact, I've noticed it on this one, it does actually say middle swing ground. I don't know if you can see that, that's the middle swing ground here. The, yes, all ships are send out, or all ships of a certain size must send out their position by AIS, which is a GPS satellite position. Then other ships in the area can see them. And of course, this information is public available, and there's quite a few websites with different graphics, different logos. And the information comes from people like myself. I've got a small receiver which is a little raspberry pi it's connected to the internet and it picks up the ais from a, a radio receiver from a usb digital radio just sits there pick up signals and sends them off to the website so that people have updated information in the port that's part of my good duties thank you for information the ark independence is called in on 35 um, it should be watching points for yourself. Uh, Ahoy there, Sally G. She says she has uh, downloaded the, the Marine Traffic app to her phone. That's right, there's quite a few of them. You can download to your phone as well. It's quite handy. Ahoy there, Dee Phillips, watching from Louisiana in the States. Hopefully your weather is not too humid down there in the, the deep south. Excellent spanner Kevin too suggests that the car park workers down there have had a hot day and I think they probably have and they're shuffling those cars. This is the car park for Iona that you can see in front of us and that's where you drop your vehicle off and they'll go and store it elsewhere. But I'd, equal, I'd imagine that, yes, they have had a fairly challenging day. It's a great bit, yes, that's all copy, thank you. Can you just confirm for me, please, uh, draft and persons on board, over. It's 
Just heard the horns. I don't think the microphone picked them up today with wind. Uh, Sky Princess BTS, good afternoon. That's all copy. Thank you. Uh, copy to conversation with the Britannia. there. Um, I just passed on Helen. You've also got the Elizabeth. Uh, she's south of Lab Anchorage number 12 at the moment. She's in rebound for a pilot at the Sturbridge at 1845. We'll see the auto prestige on the right hand side of our screen shortly. Carolina ABTS, all copy, thank you. Uh, two decimal nine nine on the gauge. Auto prestige just passing the ocean dock, um, also north channel out. So auto prestige is round about here. She'll be on very shortly. We'll be on cruise cam. Then we have supposedly. Ventura's on the move, and then also we will have the Arc Independence. She's the Roro on the right there. She is also on the move as well. Then after those two, well, after those three, we'll have Celebrity Silhouette. Thank you, Arc Independence, just passing correction, also prestige, just passing the ocean dock outward bound. Ventura's away from 106, and once clear dock head. The Ark Independence will be getting underway from 35. There we go. As, as, as he said, as Andy said. So the Celebrity City West at 6, Boletta at 6, and Aya at 6. Almost, look like, almost looks like a Ukrainian flag up there, doesn't it? Just to see Auto Prestige there on the... In the middle of the screen, <laughs> slipping past. Might be able to see it on cruise cam shortly. Is he not six feet yet for that thing? Auto Prestige is off on her way to Bremerhaven in Germany. Uh, so not six feet, yes. um, you've got the Britannia there, the cross channel ferry. Um, she's in rebound for Portsmouth or Portsmouth over. Uh, VTS also concerned with vessels coming in and out of Portsmouth, not actually in Portsmouth itself, but on their way to there. side of that conversation so not quite sure what's going on I see a chap there in his pleasure in his pleasure craft the right back going into high docks Princess Caroline VTS, um, traffic information, also prestige, just approaching Dockhead, outward bound. Once clear of Dockhead, the Ark Independence will be underway from 35 berth out. That's all copy, thank you. 
traffic will turn the radio off now. We've got a fair bit of traffic to watch. It's the Auto Prestige here, shortly followed by Arc Independence and then Ventura. Look, look, see if Ventura is actually moving. Ah, uh, yes, Ventura is on the way. So we'll probably see, probably see her in. She's a little bit late, a bit tardy. We've got three at six, so it's all happening at the same time. Why can't they spread it out a bit more? They make the captain's life really difficult when they do when they all leave at the same time. We were discussing the other week about these excellent lifeboats that are on the sterns of these types of commercial ships. As you can see, it all just drops straight into the water. I mean, I'm sure, sure you don't want to have a go just for fun, but uh, I think it would be rather, rather fun to give it a go. Obviously, there are training exercises where they people get to test this. They drop straight to the water, self right. They've got little engines on as well, so they can putter around. Uh, they should have rations on board as well for a number of days. Of course, they've got equipment to transmit locations and positions, all those sorts of things. You can see the big loading ramp on the rear of Auto Prestige there. So it just drops that down in the particular area of ports where. She's just come from uh, up at 106, I think it was, she was out at 105. Uh, there is a little bit of land that sticks out and that's where she would have dropped her rear stern ramp on. And we're just waiting for Ventura, who's on the move. I'll say probably give it 15, 10, 15 minutes. She's got to come straight down to the water, no swinging today. Then we've got Balletta, Celebrity Silhouette, and then Iona. And then also we have the Arc Independence. I think she's going to leave after Ventura. She might be leaving before. Let's see if we have a if we have any idea. Check the map. Of course that would make sense, wouldn't it? I would say that Arc Independence is probably leaving next. There's only some way we could check this. We could do that. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'd say it looks like Arc Independence has started to break away as well. See Arc Independence moving. And then we might see Ventura as well. Not sure if she's going ahead of Ventura or behind Ventura. I think at this rate she'll probably gonna go behind Ventura. Maybe not. Arc Independence is here. And then Ventura's up here, she's already departed. So the question is, can Arc Independence get out before Ventura? Obviously Ventura has got to come all the way through port at six and a half knots. Arc Independence has only really got to get to about here and there's no speed limit. So perhaps she will be going, perhaps she will be going first then. And at six o'clock, Celebrity Silhouette, Boletta, and then Iona. And then there's Iona bathing in the sun this evening. Oh, then Tim Maynard suggests that Iona is getting ready to be late. Ooh, 
hope not. She's been very good lately. She's been early. She did have a terrible spell of being late all the time. But uh, she was early the other week. Emma Harrison suggests lots of marine traffic happening tonight. It certainly is. I don't know why. It's all happening at the same time. We've been having some quiet days in port recently during the week. Not a lot going on at all. Not entirely sure why it's so quiet. And then you have days where it's just constant action all day long. understand why the cruise ships all leave at the same time because obviously they've come into port in the morning early in the morning unloaded passengers and such like and then loaded lots of rum and food goodness ready to depart in the evening with a full complement of crew passengers and a buffet Unlike the cruise ships, the commercial ships, like the Ark Independence you can see before us, they require tugs to manoeuvre around. They don't have the control that the cruise ships do. So they require a couple of tugs, one at the back, one at the front, one to steer. Well, in fact, they both effectively steer. Uh, the one at the back also helps to slow the ship down. And they'll push and pull the ship around to get her in and out of the port. Very occasionally, if it's really windy, the cruise ships also will have tugs in assistance. Ventura just passing Mayflower Park, getting close to town key and then she'll be on the cruise cam as we are just watching arc independence makes the arc independence moving away and there's ventura passing Mayflower Park here and then very shortly as time is moving on we're already at 22.6 we will then be having at six o'clock Stoby Silhouette, Boletta and Iona so quite a full day five ships moving departing or five cruise ships I should say lots of other ships as well so a fairly busy day here in port like I would suggest the Princess Caroline, the small vessel to the left. I think she's probably running a, a party cruise around port. With this, Steph Pease asking, is there a cruise ship around to watch? Yes, there is indeed, shipmates. 
we've got Ventura just about to appear on screen. Then we have Celebrity Sweat, Valletta, and Iona. So you are just in time, as it happens. Just in time, shipmates. And we're just watching Arc Independence at the moment. Um, while we're waiting for Ventura to pop up on cruise cam. Arc Independence is on her way to destination unknown. That's not very helpful, is it? I don't know where she's off to. We don't know where. Maybe one of our excellent spanners has that information. Oh, yes, indeed. Matt King's there. She's on her way to Baltimore, the USA. There's quite a few car factories down in Baltimore. There's a lot of Roros coming out of Baltimore, so I'm guessing that's what's going on there. just coming up I imagine on ocean terminal be on that screen shortly Grande Colonia VTS, uh, that's all copy, just stand by for me, sir, stand by. Uh, Grande Colonia VTS. Grande Colonia VTS, uh, your pilot boarding time, sir, pilot boarding time is 1930, 1930, at a pilot boarding station. Bravo to the east of the Nab Tower. Your pilot is currently on an outbound vessel, the cruise ship Aventura. If you can maintain a good listening watch at channel 12 for VTS traffic, 09 for the pilot. Uh, you'll get an update on pilot boarding time. And it may be five minutes, five to ten minutes to drift. And if you could have your arrangement on your starboard side, please, one and a half metres above the waterline. Yeah, BTS, uh, that's correct, sir. Yeah, pilot world in time 1930 at Bravo. And if you could have your arrangement on the starboard side of one and a half meters above the waterline. That's interesting. So the pilot's jumping off of one cruise ship and then jumping onto a commercial ship coming in. And here is Ventura. Looks like a 
flanked by a couple of pleasure vessels. Lots of people up on deck. That's how she might zoom in, I think. That's just the camera seems to be a bit jerky. I don't know if it's struggling with the heat or it's just... Just doesn't like working on Saturday afternoon, I spent a bit like the captain. And there we go, that... There's a little hog of the horn there. You'll see the people on the top deck are waving to fellow cruisers over on Iona. Could definitely see some wavers up there. Someone's got a very bright green dress there, haven't they? High visibility dress. You can't exactly bump into that lady and say you didn't see her, can you? Quite a number up on deck. I'm guessing enjoying the lovely sun while they're setting sail before they make their way down to the buffet later. Catching some lovely fresh sea air. Not too many people out on the balconies. A few. If there'll be anyone on the stern, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, yes, I can see a few. Yes, definitely a few people on the stern. Looks like they're filming a few things, maybe sipping a rum based cocktail, perchance. <laughs> Venture, of course, in a similar colour scheme to her big sister Iona. And there is Iona. See a slightly more modern Venture. See that obviously there's no scrubbing technology on that, that funnel. Quite a, a dark looking exhaust from the funnel, whereas Sky Princess had a sort of brownie exhaust. Maiden Voyage for Ventura was in April of 2008. She's Getting on in a few years, definitely over the 10 year mark. It's 116,000 gross tons. Total passengers, uh, no, 3,200. And top speed of 23.2 knots. No reasonable passenger capacity. No, I don't have any information on crew capacity. I don't know about that. And compared to Sky, um, Sky Princess earlier, she's only uh, 288 metres long rather than the 
330 of Sky Princess. If we look back on to cruise cam, you'll see that Ark Independence is some way down south under water. As we follow Ventura out. Ventura just in port for the day. And she's off on a seven night Western Europe cruise via St. Peter Ports, Porto, Lisbon, and Vigo. So off round to Spain and Portugal via the Channel Islands. Uh, what jolly good weather those shipmates will have for their cruise. Well, there's FP. Uh, she likes my fancy graphics. <laughs> I just I had a bit of time, so I thought I'd, I'd knock that up. It seems to be something that people ask quite a lot, what's happening. So I thought I could just pop that on the screen. Might be helpful. Not everyone has the audio on, so these people have an idea what's going on. Indeed, Steffi said it looks quite crowded up there. I agree, it looks very crowded up on there. January, sorry, in June, just over a month ago, there was an incident in the Port of Southampton with a forklift. The forklift was attempting to lift the luggage cart from the Ventura and dropped it into the water. Uh, a of ship tenders were launched to retrieve the luggage. Unfortunately, a small number of the bags could not be recovered. Now, when you lose your luggage at the airport, you might not know where it is, but at least you know it's probably in the airport somewhere, or the last airport, or the wrong airport. When you are on a cruise ship, you probably don't expect your luggage to be floating past you. quite entertaining wouldn't it i guess there could be a line of uh, floating luggage and you want sort of luggage with a built-in like a automatic life vest you drop it in the water and it self inflates to keep your luggage safe i'm sure somebody got in trouble for that hoi there emma harrison says which ship will be the next to depart that I'm guessing all oh, we've got six ships departing at six o'clock. So we still at Valletta and Iona. Assuming they all leave at bang on six o'clock, it's going to be Iona that we will see leave first, then Slow Silhouette, then Valletta. But Valletta is definitely ready to go, so she'll definitely be second. It's where or not Iona leaves on time. You can never can tell the owner, but she's been leaving early lately, so there's a good chance she'll leave on time. Very strong sun out there today. I don't think we're going to get any decent sunsets during uh, these departures because it's a little bit too early for a decent sunset. And 
there's a lot of reflection out there on that sparkly water with a coal redding says he'll be on Venture in August for the Canaries. Last time he was out on a cruise was the Queen Mary 2 in 2019 for the Fjords. Hopes that Ventura will feel decent size after being on Queen Mary 2. I'm sure you'll have an excellent time shipment off to the Canaries. Oh yeah, Jürgen Schooling. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing and welcome to the crew. Current updated information is that Celebrity Silhouettes will be departing next. So I got that completely wrong. Wouldn't be the first time the captain was wrong. Doubtless the last as well. I should put the radio back on and see what's going on, shall we? In fact, Celebrity Silhouette is already on the move. Uh, she's definitely keen, isn't she? I wonder why she's on the move so quickly. Uh, as you can see, she's slightly away from the Horizon Cruise Terminal. Uh, she's just moving now. And this is Mayflower Park here. I'm guessing... I'm not going to make any more guesses. Definitely Boletta. Maybe Boletta will be next because she's already indicated that she's keen to go. So maybe we'll be Boletta next. Southampton VTS, Red Falcon. Red Falcon, Red Falcon. And as they're just departing, we're all paid for his cars, but as you can see the cruise ship coming off. Thank you. I don't think you heard the ship horn then, it was a bit quiet, but that's I believe was the horn from Celebrity the Wet giving us a good couple of honks. Let me see Ventura. Oh, there, shipmate Mark Perkins. Many thanks for subscribing, shipmate, and welcome to the crew. I mentioned before, if you do subscribe and hit that notification bell, then every time I go live, you'll be notified. Oh, there, shipmate Rafael Diaz. Many thanks for subscribing as well. Welcome to the crew. Test, uh, make an orderly queue on your way down to the galley. Just see the bow of Iona here. I haven't heard anything about Iona's departure yet. 
I know Boletta is keen, so I'm guessing it's going to be a late departure for Iona. Slightly annoying because she does tend to block the view rather. But no, we'll have to just work around that, won't we? With uh, Elizabeth and Bill Brown says they are on Iona next week. Oh, there, Josh. Oh, there, Josh. Gretox Greto says Gretex says Iona is due out soon. Is Iona due out soon? No, sorry, that's Tim Ellis. Yes, man. And Josh says shipmate Josh says his grandma's neighbours are on Iona. Well, give them to give us a wave. Oh, they're cold ready. What's no? Where's the mustard drill, Captain? I should do that, shouldn't I? I need to make all of your ship weights aware what to do. How to behave on board. Make sure you know what to do in an emergency. BTS, Iona, just starting to single up on 46 verbs in traffic. Hello, you can see some collectors on the way in well. Going back down in the two minutes in the Yes, either. Oh, Boletta's on the way. Uh, Iona is syncing up, so it's all happening now. There's, I mean, you would have thought they could have done the decent thing and just helped me, wouldn't you, and spread it out a little. Why do they want to do it at the same time? I don't know. They do it on purpose, I think, just to make these certain ships YouTube channel very interesting and to make, and to make the captain's life challenging. There is Iona, so Iona, I'm guessing, is going to be waiting for Bullet. Oh, no, she's singing up. Those lines are coming in. Oh, well, where's... The celebrity silhouette is also on her way. Boletta is on her way. And Iona's... I think someone needs to wait, if you ask me. I'm not quite sure how all these three are going to depart at exactly the same time. So we've got Celebrity Silhouette is on past coming past Mayflower. We've got uh, Boletta, who's who's now moved away from her berth, and Iona here as well. She's just about to get moving as well. So, oh, hope they know what they're doing. See the lines here being singled up. On Iona. That's uh, just going to have a little whiz around with the camera. See if we can see. I think the information is from. Giving two extra spanners says that uh, it will be Berletta next and then Iona, so she's just preparing. And then we'll probably see Celebrity Silhouette shortly on here on Netley Cam. It's all go.
see more of those. And it looks like Boletta's swinging in the middle swing ground. She's going backwards at the moment. And she'll swing in the middle swing ground, follow out celebrity silhouette, and then Iona is close behind. As you can see, she's pulling in those lines. She, uh, she'll be what they refer to as singled up, just have the one line left holding her steady. She'll be off on her way as well. There'll be three ships speeding down Southampton Water. Be like a little traffic jam of cruise ships. coming in just uh, a few remaining I don't quite know how many she'll keep on I know the term singling up does suggest a single line but ships this size I'm not sure they just have a single line they probably just have a, a couple I would imagine I think we'll turn the radio off for a bit because I think we know exactly what's going on. Everyone's departing. So let's just turn the radio off. We don't need to really know what else is going on, do we? So we can see it all our eyes now. Looks like the water rats are back, and that is a celebrity silhouette, and they're coming over the right hand side of our screen. Then Boletta is reversing to the middle swing ground. She'll follow Celebrity Silhouette out. Then Iona will depart. Quick look at Iona. She's just... Yep, she's almost singled up. Most of those lines, the wharfs have been pulled in. Just a couple holding her there. While they wait for Celebrity Silhouette to pass. And then Boletta. And we now know it is pronounced Boletta because we've heard it on the radio. Celebrity Silhouette, almost visible now. 11 years old. Maiden voyage in July of 2011. Oh, there, Yana Josh Mello. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing. Great to have you as part of the crew. Total number of passengers on board. Celebrity silhouettes. 2,800. Uh, 
uh, with a complement of about 1,500 crew. Should be seeing the silhouette past the dockhead ever so soon. And then Boletta. Boletta is, if I'm not mistaken, probably going for a bit of a spin. Yep, she's spun. So, quick look at Boletta here. So, she's spun up there. And she will then come past. And then Iona. She's here. And then she'll also depart. And then we can follow the three of them down on their travels down a sunny Southampton water. I like the way the shadow looms on the water as the ship gets closer and closer. Ticks one of my boxes of requirements of an, uh, what I would consider an attractive cruise ship has a blue hull partial to a blue hull something I've noticed in recent years quite like the grey of the virgin ships as well something a little different sometimes the whites can be a bit repetitive white ships well they do look good as well Let's see if there's anyone up on deck I can see a few shipmates up there And those waters are looking as still as the proverbial mill pond. For some reason cruise cam doesn't seem quite so responsive these days. I suspect it probably needs the age old technician's touch of a turn it off and turn it on again. see a number of shipmates up on deck catching a fantastic view of Iona as they sail past quite unusual isn't it we're getting heat hazes so often you see heat hazes in port it's definitely quite hazy the heat reflected off of the waters various parts of the port all well, the red funnels are passing by which is going to have to be quick to get into port before Boletta starts coming out and yeah that'll be tricky for her she's got Iona in the way as well Quite a challenge if you're the Red Funnel captain and pilot this time of year, trying to dodge all the cruise ships and all the pleasure craft. Must make winter uh, a lot more, a lot easier, a lot less hassle in winter time. There we go. And there's definitely some shipmates are selling themselves on the stern of Celebrity Silhouette. There, that's where I think I would be. Rum-based cocktail in hand, possibly dark and stormy, something like that. Currently travelling at about six knots in port. She starts to speed up a little bit now. She's past the boy, past the speed limit mark. She's just sailing out past Iona. Let's uh, 
is hot on her heels. Now she is on her way out. Past going, just going past Mayflower Park. I'll see Belletta and then Iona. So we got the screen for us now. She will be also departing immediately afterwards. So pretty busy. Have some great views as you're in port. Or if you are on a cruise ship. And of course, don't forget Ventura is already probably halfway down Southampton Water. Just passing Esso Refiner, in fact, Ventura. Valletta's uh, Sky Princess, she's way gone now. She left very early. She left at four o'clock. In fact, she even left before four o'clock. Then we all have Iona leaving just as soon as Valletta passes by. Can't quite see Ventura, unfortunately, on cruise camp. She's hidden behind the crane, but you can see the Ark Independence there as well. You can see all these shiny new lorries there in port, coming or going. That does look like a wonderful evening, doesn't it? Oh, and the wind's dropped as well. Look at that, the flag on the front, the bow of Iona has been quite stiff all day. And now it's, now it's all floppy. number of people up on the bow. I'm not quite sure they may be, may be watching uh, Balletta as she departs. She might be visible. I'm trying to think if she'd be visible. She, yeah, she probably would be visible. Yeah. Balletta is. Oh, no, that's Celebrity Silhouette. Balletta is just, just coming up on the Iona, and there's the Red Eagles having to sneak in close and tight to Town Key so as not to cause any problems. Celebrity Silhouettes. Celebrity Silhouette is off on a cruise to Belfast in Northern Ireland. That's the only information we have on that. She has 1,773 passengers on board and 1,142 crew. We'll have Balletta next, and then followed by Iona. Quite a silhouette here for Celebrity Silhouette. <laughs> yes. I'll stick to the ship commentary and not the jokes. Some hogs there, don't know if you picked those up. I need to get myself a like a outside microphone somewhere that's not in a location that picks up uh, other external noises. This is the that is the problem in the picking up people and traffic and noises that disturb. So I'll try and work on a location for that. The little Hythe ferry plying its trade between Hythe and Town Key. 
And any moment now we should see Boletta arriving from the right hand side. Quite keen on Boletta's paintwork. I was talking about a celebrity silhouette with her blue hull. Uh, Boletta's also uh, one of these with a blue hull, but she's also got this little red stripe. Reminds me a, a, slight, a little bit of the Disney cruise ships. They have a, a blue hull and they also have a sort of coloured pinstriping. If you call it pinstriping on a ship. So, yes, they, they have that as well. I think it's a it's kind of some for some reason to me it lends it a sort of traditional air. Nobody silhouettes on her way down Southampton Water. many people out on about on Boletta. Eight hundred and thirty four passengers on Boletta and six hundred and sixty eight crew. Sounds to me like you'll definitely be looked after well if you're on board Boletta. She's passing the dock head way down Southampton Water. Looks like there's a tug, tug on the move as well. I was quite keen to check out the stern where there's a. Looks to me like there's a sort of oh, something odd. What's that? Uh, some sort of statue of a Greek goddess or something. Sure, someone knows what that's all about. I can't say I've noticed that before on Valletta. Letter is slightly smaller than Iona, as you can see there for scale. And Iona is also now off. She was quite quick there, wasn't she? Didn't hang around at all. Now we have Iona departing. See a fair number of shipmates. I'll move the wrong camera. Then. See a fair number of shipmates. Out on deck, on their balconies, enjoying this wonderfully sunny evening here in the Port of Southampton. Temperatures, I believe, are still quite considerably over 20 C. Let's just check on the local weather. Still looking somewhere in the region of 24 C. How about that? I think we've got any passengers numbers yet for Iona. I didn't I haven't got the radio on at the moment, so I didn't hear anything. Number of people up on deck with their shorts and t-shirts on. Can't say I'm surprised about that. Iona will be reversing out into the middle swing ground, spinning around and then heading on. Down Southampton Water, following Boletta, Celebrity Silhouettes, and then Ventura.
Iona off just like some of the other ships to the fields. Letter. That's not Beletta. It's Iona. Beletta is off to the uh, scenic Scottish coastlands via Kirkwall, Lowick, and Isle of Butte and Belfast for an eight night cruise. Iona is off on a seven night field cruise, calling it all the usual suspects. With their Bertie Doe says there's a nice passenger crew ratio. Celebrity Silhouette certainly is 1773 crew. Oh, sorry, sorry, 73 passengers and left 42 crew. That's very helpful. Oh, with their Retro Tech Ralph. It's all very busy, isn't it? Letter. The letter now is going through that same patch that you know, is viewable from Netley Cow, where they really just become a silhouette on that bright, shiny water. Iona is a regular visitor here in the Port of Southampton. Actually, comes and goes uh, every Saturday at the moment. That's a uh, current routine. I also have a new ship. There's a sister ship to Iona coming soon. Yeah, another ship with a name that always, oh, for some reason, passes me by. I think it's Arvia. Don't quote me. I think we'll be seeing her in December. I think that's the first time she comes into port. So there could be a good live stream for that, although it's not raining. I was just going spinning here, so it might look like she's not really going very fast, but in fact she's turning around. We shall see that shortly. In fact, let's see if I can see what we can see on Netlicam. Can't see a great deal on Netley Camp because she's sort of behind the dock head. And there you go, you can see her in the background spinning around. Compared to the other cruise ships this evening, definitely are by far the biggest. 344 metres long, so 
longer than any other ship. 184,000 gross tons. Certainly bigger than any other ship in that respect. And she has a capacity of 5,206 passengers and 1,762 crew. So you're looking very, very nearly at 7,000 shipmates on board. Ooh, looks like quite a few coming out on their balconies. Perhaps they've been having a, a little nap. Movement of the ships has woke them up. I'm just going to prepare themselves with a quick stroll around the prom deck. Perhaps all just stand on their balcony and watch the lovely view of Port Southampton. And then they'll shuffle on down to that uh, buffet. Hi there, James Duffy. Suggest it's a wonderful evening to be out of the water. I totally agree with you. Certainly hope to be doing a, quite a lot of that tomorrow as well, myself. James Duffy says he hopes to be out tomorrow. He's taking some sunblock with him and a mobile buffet. Excellent job, shipmate. What a brilliant idea. Hi there, shipmate Ravi Shergill. Welcome aboard, shipmate. Many thanks for subscribing. Looks like we've almost got Iona pointing directly towards. There we go. You can see her spin now. You can see how quickly she's spinning. Always amazes me how quickly the ships spin, considering the size, the bulk, the number of shipmates on board, how quickly they get these spins going. Very impressive. And there's one of the red jets shooting off. I've seen a number of pleasure craft out there as well. A couple of gin palaces over there. I suspect they're coming in from having a lovely day out in the water. Probably dropped anchor somewhere on the Isle of Wight to enjoy the lovely coves of the Isle of Wight. See yeah, a number of seagulls there or fly in the water. When the ships move, they tend to stir up any fish or jellyfish or things that are in the water and chop it up and kill them, obviously. And then it makes it a delicacy for the seagulls. I like to refer to onto the on the channel as a bow chowder. Of course, don't forget we have. Boletta, halfway down Southampton Water, celebrity silhouettes, passing the Essa refinery, and Ventura heading towards Bramble Bank. Uh, she'll be on Cal's Cam shortly, a little bit. So I'll try and keep my eye open for that, but say it is quite a challenge, I have to say. I need a, <laughs> an assistant. That would be good, wouldn't it? Myself a cabin boy to run around after me. I need no looks like Ion is going forwards on Netley Camp. Looks like she's going backwards on cruise camps because she's still still spinning around. Once the pilot is happy with where she's pointing, I'll stop the spinning. Put left hand down and off they go. If we can see what's on the deck, shall we, shipmates? It may. See, I've noticed too many people up on top. Looks 
looks like the breeze has stopped. I don't see. Flags are pretty still. Oh, yeah, there's a few people up there. Look at those flags, not out of breath. Yeah, you would be having a fantastic sail out of port, wouldn't you? Looks like a hot tub there. I can see someone getting in a hot tub or a spa tub. Can't say I've noticed that before. Job they've got swimming costumes on. I'm sure we'd be should be showing that sort of thing on the channel. I have to be careful where I zoom in. This is the a bigger dome you see on the top. Uh, it obviously you can't see it in summertime, but in the winter that lights up with all the uh, the lights that are going on for the. The show that goes on at least. I can't, some of the other shipmates were talking about it the other week, so it was a very enjoyable show. It's a good number out on their balconies. You can see the reflection of the car carrier Lake Superior just there. Those yellow and blue and white. And the reflection on the glass of the balconies. This little bit that dips in in the middle. I quite like that. It stops the sides of the vessel looking slabby. So, Zoom out a bit and you can see what I mean. There you go. You can see that it sort of just nips in there in the centre because the iron a uh, touch of a touch of a waistline. We're looking like a fat old middle-aged man. It's definitely going to have to reboot the camera. It's uh, behaving very jerkily. I wonder if we haven't seen people in the hot tub before. It's because it's been too cold. Maybe that's why. Whereas today, the weather is very Mediterranean. Oh, look, the whole number of people in that affinity pool there. I don't think I've ever seen anyone there before. That's going to be a neat place to be, isn't it? Right on the back of the ship, watching the sun and the ports disappear as you sail away down the Southampton water. All I would need would be some sort of waterproof vessel for keeping my rum safe. Uh, that would be a little pleasure there for me, that would be. As you peep in the top pool as well. Well, I think that's the first time for the channel is seeing people in a swimming pool. Let's see, I've seen that. We could only get them to wave. That would be that would be marvellous, wouldn't it? see the 
See, the tugs are just getting here to pull out the Lake Superior. She'll be going out straight after Iona. It's got a fairly busy day here in the port. Like I say, it's been quite quiet the last couple of days. It's all happening this afternoon, it appears. Ventura is rounding the Bramble Bank. That's likely to be on Cow's Cam soon, so excellent spanner. Etienne's just give me the heads up there because I was distracted watching the tugs pull out the Lake Superior from the side here. Yeah, I don't I mean you have to remember that Southampton is a commercial port, it's not just cruise passengers, but also lots of commercial craft such as Lake Superior. Arc Independence for Lake Superior. Where is she off to? Not sure where she's off to. She's certainly moving away with some speed. Iona's just passing the dockhead now, so she'll be. Uh, Starting to pick up some speed as well. Heading down Southampton Water, following Bole or Boletta. Almost got that wrong again. Following Boletta and Ventura and Celebrity Silhouettes. Not in that order. What have we got here today? Oh, more minis. Seems to be typically minis that we see in these car parks. Occasionally we see Jaguars and Range Rovers. We also see uh, quite a lot of Bentleys as well, but I'm not sure I've ever seen them in the car parks themselves. And here is Ventura, just passing a cow's camp. At this point, she would have picked up some speed, probably in the uh, say 15, 16 knot region. Passing the lovely uh, sunny cows on the Isle of Wight. So she looked quite smart, does Ventura. Sometimes the white holes seem to be a bit rust stained and streaky, but uh, she's looking really sharp. Bit of a dent in the rear there. What's going on there? Some sort of incident, perhaps. I do find the uh, the rear, but the rear of uh, the stern is interesting on uh, Ventura. It's got this sort of overhang. A great place to have a cabin, I'd imagine. Looks like there's a. I'm not sure if there's an axo pile or not. Blasting along. Can't see me too, too many people out on their yeah, balconies though.
for the way around. Well, actually, is she off the way around the other way? I can't remember where she's going. She might not. I think she's going off to. She's going off to. Uh, where is she going off? I don't know where she's going. Oops. <laughs> I've forgotten. I can't remember. I think she was going down to Vigo. To the Channel Islands, I seem to remember. Yes, I'd say so. That's Ventura off on her journey. Now we've got still on camera somewhere will be Iona. There we go. She's up. Just passing Dockhead. And then of course we've got Celebrity Silhouette and Boletta. Let's see if we can find where they are. Is Iona right. traveling down Southampton Water? Might be able to get a few cruise ships on the screen at the same time here. We've got Ventura there in the distance and a red funnel. Iona is just to our right. Let's zoom out a bit more. I'll get some more ships in. There must be Balletta there somewhere. There's Iona. That must be Balletta. Oh, here we go. So we've got Iona on the right. And then in the far distance, you just about see, that's Ventura. And then or towards the left, just turning around cows, is Boletta. No, sorry, Celebrity Silhouette. And then just behind behind the crane is Boletta. Wow, that's uh, not bad. Four in one shot. Did wonder if we'd get a shot for them all in. Might have to get three over here as well. We'll get Boletta, Celebrity Silhouette, and Ventura all in the same shot. Shall we see if we can manage that? Venture will be coming onto the screens from the right hand side. Just wish that crane wasn't quite there. It's uh, a very, it's very good at blocking the view. I'm not sure what the safe distance is to travel behind a cruise ship. If you're on another cruise ship, I don't think the two second rule applies. Like when you're driving a car. I guess a sensible distance is the answer. There we go. Get all three on Netly Cam for this. So over on Netly Cam. So there we go. We've got Balletta, Celebrity Silhouette, and a distance, Ventura. The red jet on the left looks like Princess Caroline or something similar. And the another red funnel. Brilliant. Some sort of mad boat traffic jam, isn't it? Looks like the chap there in the small powerboat to the left of the screen. Dropped anchor. Just generally enjoying watching all the traffic go past. Brilliant idea.
Oh, the Elizabeth G. There's, that's a nice shot. It certainly is. I wish I say, wish I could take credit for that. But unfortunately, it's all about the timing of the ships, isn't it? Oh, Captain, a uh, question from Lord Jones asking the captain how many, what well, on average, how many people a lifeboat holds? I don't, because they're all sort of different sizes, but I know some of them are certainly around the sort of 70 to 140 sort of mark. I know that's sort of fairly typical. Zoom out a bit, see if we can catch all those three ships at the same time. And we can see they're sort of separating. One's going right, one's going left, one's going straight on. Well, if we zoom over to uh, cruise cam, we can get something similar again. Ventura there, around the background near the Isle of Wight. The Boletta, just rounding a cow, uh, rounding a cow shot spit. Well, uh, Matt King says uh, something special about seeing them all together. Certainly is. Not so often we get uh, views like that when you've got so many ships all at the same time. But it certainly is. It's quite a quite a view indeed. So I am just passing Netley Cam now on her way down. So we might get another cross with Iona and Celebrity Silhouette. Celebrity Silhouette is going to go down to Bramble Bank and go around that. So there's a good chance we'll get those two crossing as well. And then Boletta. Hmm. Yeah, I reckon we will get another one. Well, shipmates, I hope you've enjoyed this um, action-packed broadcast this evening with five cruise ships all departing more or less on time and even slightly early this is excellent i'd like to give a big thank you to the spanners who really helped the channel out massively i couldn't do it without the spanners i'd like to thank all of you who are members of the channel for supporting the channel and patreons and paypal donors just like to thank you all you really really do make the channel work it would be Almost, almost impossible to do it without your help. And of course, to everyone who's subscribed to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, do think about it. It certainly helps the channel out a lot. I'll continue to follow these ships out. Uh, probably for another maybe five minutes or so, I would imagine. Should get a number of occasions, I think, where we'll see crossovers between the two ships. So do stay, do stay tuned. And I'll continue driving the cameras and I shall probably see you maybe next Saturday again I'm not sure if I'll do anything during the week I'm not quite sure what's going on but again we'll have a fair number next Saturday we'll do, do have something new don't we on days that gonna be on the 12th so the 12th is the Tuesday there's something new so I'll see about that I might do some droning I could go and do a drone Until next time, shipmates.
be just leaving, sir. I go another cattle in that band using main channel, followed by City of Chichester at Main Lake using North Channel. Uh, two stations calling at once, uh, break, Jenny Blue, BTS, Regis 7, approaching northwest and inbound. Uh, Grandi Colonia, BTS, good evening. BTS, that is received. Three outbound vessels. First one, Marina, now passing St. Helens Boy, main channel. Second one, Park Independence, legal care, approaching the ports using main channel. Third one, Ventura, approaching North Service Boy using main channel. Your pilots will be coming from the outbound Ventura. Do not go further north of the pilot boarding area, not until your pilot is safely on board and on the bridge. Good evening, uh, Grandy Bologna underway from the Vantage number 8, 40, 19, 30, west of the tower.
Captain 4 BTS, the bullet approaching West Bramble, outbound to the east, clear town. The Iona is passing SO number 4, outbound, clear town. Closely followed by the Dredger City, which is uh, approaching uh, SO number 1, outbound, north town. Four V test in the copy. Red jet four V test loud and curse, that go ahead. Thank you, sir. Very good evening to you. Iona, uh, very good evening to you. Inbound traffic, the Elizabeth uh, south of Brandon, going north of the right middle. I'll wait until you are clear. And next, boarding the map, Grandi Colonia, 1930, west of the town.
Jenny Blue BTS Rissy, thank you. So. Venture of ETS. Good evening to you, sir. Venture of ETS said the Arc Independence side of you will leave west of uh, the tower and uh, the marina north and east of the tower. Beaches and uh, you said uh, west, you say, then? you're going out west. Proceed, thank you, sir. Yes, yes. Princess Caroline, good afternoon. Uh, Princess Caroline, BTS, good evening to you, sir. Yes, yes, Princess Caroline, good evening to you, sir. Um, we're just breaking away from, uh, from uh, Town Key. We have 66 passengers, 7 crew, 73 total. The easy number is 197, still. Uh, we'd like to go uh, to North Channel again and uh, our EJ back with the uh, 2230. Uh, Princess Caroline, yes, yes sir, you are clear to proceed. Um, inbound Jenny Blue, uh, south of the ocean, got Red Osprey Northwest, that name.
Grandi Colonia, Grandi Colonia, Southampton VPS. Grandi Colonia, VPS, uh, traffic information. The roll road, Art Independence, now passing Nabin Boy. This vessel will leave west of the tower, west of the tower. Will be followed by passenger vessel Ventura, now crossing St. Helens Boy. Ventura will leave west of the tower, west of the tower, your pilot will be coming from the tour. Uh, Grandy Colonia, we just thank you for that, sir. Marina, Southampton, VTS, good evening to you, sir. Marina, VTS received no reported inbound traffic from southeast of your current position. 
uh, keep a listening watch on this channel whilst you are in our BJS area. Charlie Southwest, Southwest. That is correct, sir. Grand Nicolonia, Southwest, Charlie. Independence and Grandi Colonia, this is VTS and a copy of passing arrangement, sir. Uh, thank you. 